He's going to tell us about breaking bricks with his elbow and his hands. Go for it, Matt. Matt. Um, so I started breaking when I was eight, and uh, I think the biggest thing to focus on is the fact that you have to drive through the brick because when I first started, I could never do it because I would always, I would always like hit the brick and I would stop my force and it was it wouldn't go through the bricks, and it, it, it hurts when it when it recoils. But the one time that you do it and you go through it. They break pretty easy after time and practice and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do these five with my uh, elbow first. Typically, I would have them um, up higher so it's easier, but we'll, uh, we'll do it down here because we don't have everything we need right now. I'm just putting the cloth here so I don't like get like all scraped up and stuff. When you punch it, you're hitting literally with your top two knuckles. Because anytime you ever see somebody break a finger because they punch someone, it's because they don't know how to do it right. And when you hit, I'm serious, when you hit with your top two knuckles, it's safer and it's the biggest part of your finger. So you don't get hurt as much. It'll still hurt, but um, when you break a brick, it's, it's the hardest thing to do is to be, to be able to punch through them. That's why, like, if you ever see on TV guys do those, like, crazy uh, martial arts things when they break, like, 20 bricks at a time, they're doing it with their forearms and their elbows and stuff because it's easier, so. Uh. Nice. <laughs> Round of applause. That's like yeah. yeah. Very good.